science funda's quick bites today's topic electroplating hello everybody welcome to science funda's quick bites i am fiona and today we are going to learn about electroplating if you have ever noticed most steel utensils have stainless steel written on it spoons taps car parts are all corrosion resistant shiny and scratch proof this is made possible by electroplating electroplating is the process of coating an inferior metal with a superior metal confused if you are before watching this video further click on this video on electrolysis an example of an inferior metal is iron it is reactive and thus it easily gets rusted superior metals on the other hand are less reactive like gold silver copper chromium tin nickel so on and so forth electroplating is done with the help of electrolysis with emma hello there emma could you tell us how this process actually happens sure why not electroplating is done in an electrolytic cell and the process that is carried out is electrolysis the cathode is always taken as the object to be plated here it is the bell now if i want to coat a layer of nickel on the bell then the anode that i will take is of pure nickel therefore the anode is always taken as the metal to with which the cathode is to be plated with now the salt solution that will be taken in this case is nickel sulfate or niso4 Remember that the salt solution should have the metal of the anode. That's why the anode is pure nickel here, and the respective salt solution, that is nickel sulfate, is in the electrolyte. When the current starts flowing, the electrolyte is separated into ions. That is, nickel sulfate breaks down into ions of nickel and sulfate. the nickel ion being positively charged gets attracted to the cathode being negatively charged and this results in the position of a nickel layer on the bell on the other side in the anode the nickel reacts with the sulfate ions and this creates niso4 or nickel sulfate which gets back to the electrolyte and this again forms ions and the process goes on over a period of time the bell gets coated with nickel and then you have the electroplated bell thank you for watching this video hope it helps